actually begging your boyfriends for flowers on National Girlfriend Day. My ex-boyfriend got these flowers delivered, number one. Number two flowers delivered. Number three flowers delivered. And then the fourth flowers he had to get separately delivered because you could only get them from a bodega because like flower companies don't like send these flowers because these are the kind of flowers he grabbed me in the rain from the bodega on our second day ever. And then the note said, <clears throat> was thinking about you today. Would still move the moon and the stars. He doesn't sound like that. Give me a call when you get a chance. Cheers. He didn't say cheers, but... <laughs> Yo, 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 what up, what up, what up? It's your boy Ty, X Worldwide. Now check this out. This video just proved why women don't respect men. This dude over here just sent her four bouquets of flowers back to back. And guys, in the caption she said, if a man that I haven't answered his calls in the last two months can do this, your boyfriend can grab you a grocery store bouquet. She been ignoring this dude for two whole months. Let that make sense. Two months she been ignoring this dude, and this dude keep trying to get with her. Sending her all these flowers, sending her letters talking about some, I was just thinking about you. I would move the moon and the stars to be with you. Doing all this simping. This is why women don't respect dudes like this, man. Yo, where's your masculinity? <laughs> where's your masculinity? He's over there doing all this stuff for this shit. I don't even want you. She don't care nothing about you. Why you sending her that letter? She's over there getting cracked, bent over, doggy style position. <laughs> Why are you sending her all these flowers, all these others? You doing all this stuff. She's over here with another dude. Getting rammed through. Guys, you can't be out here doing this stuff, man. This is weak behavior. And guys, women love suckers. I'm going to keep it 100 with you. They love these suckers. They love dudes like this because they know these dudes going to do anything. Anything to get back with them. Anything to get in between their legs. Anything to get in their pants. They know that. These women are dumb. That's why they love these type of dudes, because they know dudes like this is going to always be there. She's going to go out here, do her thing, and she know that sucker going to always be there. She know that simp going to always be there. He going to worship the ground she walk on. And you know what I notice about women? They love to use simps to justify what a man should be doing. They'll get a dude that don't respect himself, who they know that don't value himself, and they'll try to say, well, this is what you should be doing as a man. Nah, nah, nah. That's not what real men do. <laughs> That's not what masculine men do. That's not what men with value do. Men don't do that type of stuff. Men don't sit up here and keep chasing a woman that don't want them. Men don't put women on a pedestal. Men don't tell women they will move the moon and the stars for them. We don't do that. We operate different. We don't do that type of stuff. <laughs> we value ourselves. We respect ourselves. And here's the thing. Once you do this type of stuff, women will never look at you the same. Women will never respect you. Matter of fact, she will look like she want to spit on you. I'm telling you, bro. They don't like that. They say that. That's what they want. They don't tell you that type of stuff. But trust me, man. They look at dudes like this like, yo, yo, what are you doing, bro? What's good with you? Now, they're going to take the gifts. Oh, don't get it twisted. They're going to still take their gifts. They're going to still take what you about to give them. Oh, they're they, 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 they going to take it. They're going to they gonna get it. Oh, they're going to they gonna grab it from you. They're like, uh, look at you, clown, and leave. That's how they operate, bro. Guys, respect yourself, man. Don't ever do this. Let me put you on game real quick. If you ever go through your man's phone and you find out that little b is cheating on you, don't ever do this. Don't be like, oh my god, how could you do it? You're cheating on me. Don't ever do that. You know what you need to do? You need to go through his cash app, PayPal, Apple Pay, and send yourself $500. You know how many times you need to do that? As much as you can till that money is gone. Till he doesn't even have a dollar in his bank account. We don't even want to have a dollar in his bank account. Okay? Thank me later because if you send it through PayPal and Apple Pay, he can't dispute it. All the money is yours. And my favorite thing to say when a guy asks you to stay over his house or have a sleepover is that sleepovers are for two things. Boyfriends and best friends. And I don't think you fall into either category yet. So until then, not Stop the cap, man. These women be getting up here fronting. She know dang oh well she be having dudes come over there that ain't her boyfriend that be hitting that thing. Listen here, bro. What women say and what they do are two totally different things. If women ever tell you, oh, we gotta get to know each other more or I don't do those type of things with guys that ain't my boyfriend, that's, that's bull crap. She just don't like you. Move on. When a woman really likes you, she will have no problem you inviting over to her crib and making things happen. Stop listening to what they say and pay attention to their actions. You wanna play a little game of like truth or dare or something? You don't? <laughs> no is not an option. Truth or dare? Truth? Okay. Um, so uh, what's your ex-girlfriend's first name, last name, and Instagram? Oh, you want to change it to dare now? I dare you to swallow an air tag. My turn? <laughs> no, 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 no. This is a one-player game. So truth or dare? Dare? 
I dare you to post me on all your social media accounts right now. No, 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 no. I wasn't actually being serious. I just wanted to see if you'd do it. Yeah. Oh, we're comparing stats. Baby girl doesn't know that I am Tom Brady at this game. Married at 18, divorced at 21. Second marriage. Married at 25, divorced at 28. Third engagement. Engaged at 29, ended it at 30, but I kept the ring. I'm still keeping Tom Brady on his toes. We should not be afraid to leave these men. We are not stuck with these people. Marriage is not a sanctimonious thing. It is it is paperwork. It's something it's 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 a commitment you make to someone. But if you feel like you're not getting anything from that commitment and you're trying, you got to go. You got to go. You have to go. I know it's difficult to fill out paperwork and to make appointments and to do all of these things, but this is your fucking life. Do you want to be stuck with someone? It's, period. Do you want to be stuck with Guys, I got a question. Since when do adult entertainers give dating advice? That's like an overweight person trying to give fitness advice to another person. That, that don't even make sense. You can't sit up there and tell somebody to do something that you ain't doing yourself. You got to practice what you preach. And guys, let's take it away from me and Khalifa real quick. There's women that be out here in these streets doing their thing and they turn around and try to tell other women how to get a man. Like, that, that's the problem. They be sitting up here trying to tell other women how to get a man and they don't even have a man themselves. They can't even keep a man. Guys, how would y'all feel if I sit up here and told you about fitness, finance, and fashion, but you see me out of shape, broke, looking any old kind of way, not taking care of myself. You look at me like, yo, why should I listen to you? You're not even doing what you're saying. You look at me crazy, right? It's the same thing with women like this, man. They be doing all this type of stuff, but then turn around and try to tell women what to do to get success in relationships. Bottom line, guys, just focus on yourself. Continue to elevate and only deal with the women that want to deal with you. Point blank, period, all right? It's your boy, Ty X Worldwide, man. I hope you got the message in this video. Just like all my videos, there is a message in there. Y'all already know what to do, man. Like comment subscribe get with y'all another time